Hi guys, so I just received my first clock mechanism shipment uh, from this guy Chen Yin Dong from China. So let me check out what's in store. So I had ordered three clock uh, mechanisms to fix my uh, clocks that had gone bad. Uh, most of them I, I bought from a junkyard and another one I was given. So I had to order some clock mechanisms to fix them. And let me see, this, this is my first time ever ordering this. So let me see what's, what's packed inside. So you can see there's a packet of hooks, a hook that goes at the back. Uh, then I think this assists me to fix the clock or so. And then we have the washers and uh, of course I have, a, I have a small gift in there, a scarab. I think it's a good luck charm and a card. Okay, so let's see. Some clock hands and uh, more clock hands. Okay. And more importantly, the clock mechanisms. So this will go to replace um, the spoiled parts that I'm going to be replacing in my clocks. And also I have another wide array of clock hands. I think they just packed more. I had just ordered one each, but they packed more hands. So that is a good good sign like in this case they packed two and even in this case so I don't know why maybe it's a an extra gift um, yeah then I have my three clock parts right there with different uh, lengths that part I cannot even remember what it's called but these two are similar these two are of similar length this one is slightly different, this one is longer because the clock face has a higher density, higher depth. Um, I'm yet to get to grips with the, uh, with the terminologies. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, so here are the clocks that I intend to fix. This one in particular I bought from the junkyard. It's made, from, it's made of aluminium coated in gold and this is the old clock part that is here and the other clock part that I intend to fix is this got from a friend it was working but it was on and off in my videos I'll also be advising you how to avoid uh, you damaging your clock because of using wrong batteries or not replacing them in time yeah so um. I'm so psyched about this. It's my first time dealing with uh, clock repair. And uh, my hope is that I'll enjoy the process and also enjoy the clocks. Then of course, uh, this right here is the main project that I have been looking forward to. It's a prized possession. So I've really been waiting for that shipment to come in so that I can work. I can fix this up and take it home. So this is one of the vintage clocks. Uh, well, it's not a clock anymore because I removed the uh, clock mechanism. But uh, I maintained the, the housing. So I just managed to polish it up. Yeah, I prefer them polished. I know people will say that I should not polish vintage stuff, but um, yeah, so there was a clock mechanism down here that uh, worked uh, in number, uh, I think Majira way. So I intend to fix this and put a clock mechanism that so that the, fu the functionality of the clock can return. And I decided to maintain the, the pendulum right at the center and uh, all the other parts. I just removed the clock mechanism, used it to create art and 
Yeah, so that's it. Looking forward to creating this soon, soon, soon enough.